we are going to see a few practical aspects of a heaving apical impulse so you need to know when the heaving apical impulse is felt why it occurs and how actually it looks or how it feels now when you examine for an apical impulse by palpating the chest you will be keeping your entire arm over the precordium and once you feel that the apical impulse is felt at a particular place we will usually keep a specific point and feel if the apical impulse is felt this is basically the localization you try to see where the apical impulse is felt in other words the position of the apical impulse So then you will be interested to put the patient in the left lateral and you will feel for the character of the apical impulse. So now the hand is placed on the precordium. You can see that the hand is slightly placed lateral to the exact place where the apical impulse is felt because when the patient is put left lateral, slightly the apical impulse gets shifted by approximately say 1 to 1 and a half centimeter. So when you do so, you try to feel what you are exact feeling with the palpatory finger. So let's see how you will feel or how the apical impulse feels like when you palpate in the left lateral position. So this video will show you how the exact feel will be present. So you can see that the, the palpating finger is lifted in a sustained way. You can see it is lifted in a very sustained way. So by definition, we tell that the apex is heaving when the finger is lifted at least 50% of the systole. But here you can see that it is well lifted more than 50 percent of the system so this is how apical impulse feels like or for you how it actually looks when it is felt by an individual So, what is it? It is the apex beat which lifts the palpating finger in a sustained manner. So, the sustain is more of a subjective thing only. When you press it, if you feel that it is lifting your finger reasonably well, then you can call it as a heaving apex beat. So, uh, it need not be as classical as what you saw in the video. It may be less than that. What I have shown is a very classical heaving apical impulse. So, when does it occur? So, it occurs when there is a left ventricular pressure overload. So, the classical uh, 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 example is severe aortic stenosis, but the LV function should be normal. So, once the LV function worsens, this heaving, the effort which is required for the heave will be lost and therefore, a patient may not have a heaving apical impulse respect despite the fact that the aortic stenosis is severe. Very sometimes, very rarely it is seen in chronic and uncontrolled severe hypertension. So when the patient is having a BP of say 180 systolic or more than 100 diastolic for a very long time, it leads to a significant left ventricular hypertrophy which results in a heaving type of apical impulse. But this is very rare in uh, hypertension. So classically we see it in aortic stenosis with a normal LV function. So, this has given you an idea about, first I showed you how, then we saw when and why. So, this is something you need to remember in your, uh, as a clinical concept when you practice and see patients at the bedside.